Aloha everyone, Scott Sylvan Bell coming to you from the North Shore of Oahu. Thought I'd talk a little bit about with you about uh, body language of a presidential candidate. Now, especially with the candidates debating quite a bit lately, you're going to see a few things and they may be honed and they may not and they may not have had a body language coach, but let's go over a few things. So, in a previous video we talked about the bell bubble, so if you take your arms from about the elbow to the tips of the finger for most adults is roughly 15 to 18 inches, okay? So from side right here to the fingertips, that's the bell bubble, up and down, left and right, and even behind. So what you'll find is, you know, people are taught that they really don't want to get their hands too far away from the body. So a good effective communicator, now there's a big difference between an effective communicator and a good leader. There's a lot of good effective communicators and really bad leaders and on the other hand there's really good leaders who cannot effectively communicate well that would be a good sign of leadership so they're an okay leader because they can't communicate effectively all right so here's the thing you know you'll typically see them lean on the podium that's a bad thing that's that's always a bad thing it's just a bad sign and a bad signal to have to lean and hold on to something it means that they can't communicate effectively and then the other thing is, is you know there's a rejection mechanism in the brain and what that is is anytime that you you feel like, feel like somebody's pointing at you or telling you what to do, you're gonna say no. So, uh, in the candidates, it's not always a good idea to point because it makes the people feel like they're being talked down to. It's like, this is what I'm gonna tell you to do and this is how you're gonna do it. Now, there is a ex-president who talked, and I'll, I'll give something away if you can name him. He talked with his thumb and would tell people what to do like this. You know, when he talked to people, so he really wasn't pointing with his finger. He was using his hand, talking as a thumb. All right, so we have the body language of the individual. Now, what happens if they get a tough question? So all this right here, the facial features, and maybe the shoulders are what's going to be that ruins them. So, you know, they may get angry and, and furl their brows and, Urgh! you know, just for like a microsecond. It might be a micro expression, and you'll see it from here to here. You know, the face will get scrunched up. Or they get asked a question they don't like and they show contempt. And contempt is going to come from the corner of the lip and it's going to be a half smile. It's going to be. And it just might be for like the briefest second and you'll see them. Urgh. And it doesn't really matter what party the person's from. They could be Republican, Democrat, Green, Liberal, Libertarian. doesn't matter. So the next thing is going to be like where are the hands going to be. So this could be seen as a powerful statement. You know, taking the hands and doing this. just It, it could be seen as powerful. You know, or when somebody's saying no to something, if you do this, this is typically a sign of yes, this is typically a sign of no. So if they do this, could be seen as being congruent, yes. Or no, you know, no, no, no. So there's a lot of things that they can and can't do. So let's say they do get a bad question and they say, I would never do that. Okay, well, maybe they might be wrong. Maybe they might not be telling the truth. They could be nervous. It's not always an exact science. So it should be, I would never do that. I would never do that. Or, yes, I would do that. So sometimes you'll catch the person and they're sitting there talking and they'll, they'll give their, their body language away, a leak, a tell, as it would be for like a gambling community, the tell of what somebody's doing. Uh, the facial features, though, is really what's going to get them, is if they get a bad question, they get an easy question, they might smile, they might laugh. You know, somebody asks them something tough, they may look away, they may take a deep breath in. <sighs> Their body language may pivot, and usually wherever the feet go, that's kind of a sign of where somebody wants to go. It's not always definite, but if I just rotate my right foot on my heel, start watching my shoulder plane, it's going to slowly start tilting away. I'm not standing straight up and down, and usually people will see a good leader is standing straight up and down, shoulders back chin up slightly, not too much to be arrogant, not too much to be depressed, just kind of even and flat. So these are just a good few things to watch for when you're reading the body language of a presidential candidate out there debating, talking about what they're going to do and how they're going to change things. Scott Sylvan Bell, only Scott Bell, the Sylvan Lamille, coming live from the North Shore of Oahu. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, wow. If you could do a small favor for me, down right here in the box below or over here somewhere, if you can leave a comment, I would really appreciate it. Scott Sylvan Bell, only Scott Bell with the Sylvan in the middle. We'll talk to you soon.